Hello everybody, this is Bugsy, this is, this is Yonky B, how you doing Moose? It's been a while, it's been a while since I've been in a video. So, Bugsy, are we going to talk about it? Yep. So, so, so the Dodger takes Claire to the moon and the, and the other chick, well, one of Claire's students, and it basically started because the doctor t basically told her she would do nothing special. And you guys gotta understand, the doctor is kind of a... The doctor in this regeneration is kind of a dick, and I kind of enjoy it because, really, it's kind of awesome. It's kind of awesome. Because think about it. The doctor has made... The doctor has made sacrifices... He is freaking, he has watched people he loved and people he cared about die. And I, and I feel like this regeneration just kind of gets all that, gets all that anger and aggression he had out in the open. But, you know, what, you know, what really, you know, I like this episode a lot. But what really, what really killed it for me was towards the end where freaking Claire goes like, Oh, where she was like, oh, you tell you you tell never tell me to get me get get the stabilizers off my bike and a whole bunch of stuff because the doctor gave them because the doctor gave them a choice. You know, you you guys can either kill the moon that has the freaking parasite paras parasite, or we, you can kill the parasite or let. Or let it live. You know, Doctor left you. And they were like, "Oh my!" And you know, and the Doctor to me, I felt like he was really trying to respect Claire's. You know, trying to make Claire make her own choice, kind of leading her a bit, but letting her make her own choice. And then she gets all angry and goes, "Oh, I never told you to put the stabilizer on my blanket. It's, it's my. You know, your earth, this Earth. Earth is your home too." It's, yeah, you breathe and you help people and stuff. I'm like, Claire, do you understand the doctor is different every time he regenerates? You were in his freaking... I mean, it's mostly just comes down to the fact that the doctor's different and Claire's not cool with it. But I'm just saying, it's like, do you understand that? Do you understand that the doctor changes not only in face, but in mind? But in personality as well. Come on, Claire. You should know this. You should know this. The whole him being different shouldn't change anything. You should know this already. You've been through his timeline. You know these things. God dang. And yeah, he was trying to give you the chance to make the choice. Because he's always the one making the choices. And if you would have known... Every if and another thing, if you've been in his timeline, you know that he had to make the difficult choices. So this time he wanted one of you guys to make the difficult choice. So he, you know, he wanted you guys to try and do it. He wanted you guys to do it because there's a whole bunch of times he made a lot of messed up, uh, difficult choices, and so put and put and so puts it that you guys have to. So you guys had to do it. It just, it, it, I don't know, it just kind of ticked me off. You know, it really ticked me off because it's like Clara, it's like Clara, I'm not, I'm not slamming, I'm not slamming the actress, she was a good, she was a good, she's good. And, you know, and if an actress can make me feel, make me feel angry about a certain character, you're doing a good job. But I'm just saying, it's just, I'm like, fuck, I'm like, you know, at this point, I'm like, fuck it, Claire, just freaking leave. Leave, okay? Leave. Go with your Danny Pink, and leave. Just leave. Because obviously, you don't under, you don't get, you don't get that the doctor freaking changes his personality as well as as well as his face. And trust me, I'd understand it. He, I understand it. It's not like he wasn't gonna... 
You're trying to get you to make the choice, but you're like, oh no, <laughs> you you abandoned me. You were you were gonna help us, but you were gonna make the choice. I just feel like the doctor made so many choices. He wanted this time, this time for someone else to do it. You know. And that's what bit and that's what pissed me off about Clara though. It, it all comes back to the first episode where she's all like, I can't handle the doctor, and I thought that got resolved, but I guess not. I guess not. Because she'll always, she'll always pine for this guy. Right here. Right here. If that's the doctor she wanted to be with. I actually wish Matt Smith would have kept going for a little bit longer before Capaldi. You know, you know, see where that would have went. But, uh, oh well. You know, I'm not, I'm not tripping about Capaldi. But she kind of mirrors a lot of people that only like a certain doctor and curses the other doctors. Yeah, I'm talking, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about my sister and my mom too. Because they're, because they're kind of the same way. But mostly, everybody else is like, you know, doesn't like the body. I'm like, the doctor, the doctor changes face, body, and mind. And you guys act like that's not a diff. That's not a, that's not new. He was going, I knew he was going to go, I knew they were going to go with an old guy, though. Because, see, seriously, it's been, it was going young, 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 and now old. So I think, um,. By the next generation, they're gonna go. Oh, they're probably gonna either go old or young, but it's too early. It's too early in Capaldi's run to actually say if he's gonna go. If they're gonna go young next, but still, I really enjoy. I really enjoy the fact that. Um, I also like the fact that they used uh, one of the doc. You know, the yo-yo. One of the. I forget which Dodger had the yo-yo, but he used it. I was like, "Oh yeah," because like uh, you know, I guess you know, just to give myself a little bit of a history lesson, I um, <laughs> I watched old episodes of Doctor Who, and really, they're all pretty good, and they're all you know, they're pretty good. I'm just saying, the whole thing with Claire kind of ruined it for me, and then. I don't know. I don't know. The astronaut chick was like, you, "We gotta kill. We gotta kill. We gotta kill this parasite, even if it's a baby. We can't afford to be nice." I'm like, "Okay, it's still a, f it's still a life, man. It's still a life, and we don't know what it was gonna do." And the doctor pretty much knew. I mean, I mean, if the do if like the parasite was gonna do anything messed up. He would have known about it first. That's the whole reason he gave them the choice. That's the whole reason he gave them the choice to do, to kill it or don't kill it. Because if anything was really going on that he needed to intervene, he would have intervened. You know, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of ranting on what Clara said to him because really, it just proves that. It just proves that to me. I mean, yeah, you were a great, you were a great companion for Eleven, but not for this doctor. I think he needs a new. I think he really does kind of need a new companion. Besides you, you're, yeah, he can still have her around, but I'm saying he needs like an alternate companion that really does kind of, really does understand him, because Clara kind of doesn't. And meanwhile, we got like. And meanwhile, I haven't seen uh, Missy do anything in a while, so I wonder what, I, I seriously wonder what's her plan. Like, every time she's, like, I was looking at some of the old, the uh, episodes I missed because uh, my cable box was a complete and utter a-hole to me, and I really wonder what she's planning. You know? I really wonder what she's planning. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Personally, I think she's just making more. She's making actually more Cybermen. I mean, Cybermen. Why did I say Cybermen? Cybermen is freaking Dragon Ball Z. Cybermen is freaking Doctor Who. 
But, uh, you know, I'm just saying, I think he needs an alternate companion that under, that kind of understands him. I mean, Clara kind of doesn't. It's evident that she kind of doesn't. So I'm just saying, let's hope we give Clara a little, you know, how about for a few, I hope for a few episodes they give Clara kind of a break and kind of have the Doctor kind of go on his own for a bit. You know? But then come, then, then, um, the Doctor will come back when he's really needed by Clara. You know, and then they reconnect again and everything's all good. Ah, and you know, this the Claire student, even though she was bone dead stupid, she wasn't really, she wasn't really that, I mean, she wasn't really that bad. But I did like the little thing where he's like, you can't, you can't post pictures of me, where the doctor was like, you can't post pictures of me online. I was like, <laughs> Why did they got I wish it would have made a meta joke like Well, people do it anyway. <laughs> uh but I digress. I really did like the, I really did like the episode. I just didn't like how Clara reacted to the doctor because it just was symptomatic of a bigger issue with Clara as a character. And yeah, yeah, we know she's probably gonna come back, but it's still, I don't know, it just still left a bad taste in my mouth. And then she goes crying to, she goes home crying to Danny Pink, like, oh, oh god. I'm like, that's messed up. I mean, you've been through everything with the doctor, and you're just gonna abandon him? He, see, he needs, and we all know, he needs companions. That's the only thing keeping it, him having a little bit of humanity. Because if he doesn't have one, he's kind of like Discord Who's. Meaning he's an emo, even though, meaning he's an emo prick. I mean, you could say that the 11, the 12 Doctor is a prick, but really, I don't see him as one. I just see him as kind of a dude that goes like, like I'm, like, I'll help you, but at the same time, I'm a little bit weary of all this, all this ish I have to go through. That's how I see Cabal. That's how I can. That's how I see Cabaldi's doctor. But I really like. Again, I enjoyed. I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed the episode. What do you think, Yunk? Claire did kind of get me a little angry, Bugsy, but you know we all know she's coming back at some point or one point or another. So, you know, it's all, it's all good. Yeah, true. True. So. So, when you rate this uh, episode, I give it, I give it nine TARDISes out of ten. It was cool, it was a little funny, it was kind of crazy, and I enjoyed it. And the freaking parasite looked like those freaking moon spiders. And then I got kind of afraid. <laughs> I mean, it didn't really it didn't really hurt the score of the of the review, but it just reminded me of Apollo, it just reminded me of Apollo 13 and I was just like, no. No moon spiders. No freaking moon spiders. Oh sh Yeah, I was just creeping. I was just creeping myself out. Uh, but I, you know, I hope I hope this you know, I didn't tell you uh, too much about it. I want you all to watch it for yourselves. Other than other than that, yeah, I do spoiler-free kind of things, but I did kind of reveal that. So, yeah, a little bit of a spoiler-free kind of thing. Well, see you guys later. I'm Bugsy, and I am signing off.